I'm going to get straight to it. This video, I know I touched on this before, but it's going to be about predictive programming. You know, especially when it comes down to certain individuals from certain backgrounds, but in general, you know, it's predictive programming. Like, for instance, there's a lot of stories covered. You know, let's start from the inner cities to start with, right? They say all the, they show all these negative, they got people fighting, people shooting, doing this, people getting taken up out of here, just a bunch of negativity. But yet there are a bunch of people that's in those type of communities that are trying to get people to come together and stop the violence and do this and do that. But it's very difficult to try to, you pushing, you know, agenda to, you know, stop the violence, clean up the streets, etc. And you got not only, and I always want to make this clear because people be trying to make it seem like when a person is speaking truth that they're being racist or they're trying to um, highlight one group of people. I just tell a story how it is and I just tell it how it goes. Because there are black devils just as well as white devils, Hispanic devils, etc. That's what you need to overstand. But let's be honest. If certain people that are pressing it more in a certain other way, then they will be speaked about in a certain type of manner. I don't, I'm not with any bias type of situations, but the things that I've went through and the things that you are going through, we know what's going on. For them real ones, what's understood don't have to be explained. So, um... There's a lot of things going on in these um, communities where you have, I guess, the agreeables versus the disagreeables. And they all could look the same. You know, you got the quote unquote um, illegal drug or whatever pusher that's against the guy that's trying to clean up the neighborhood and put the and steer the kids in the right directions instead of growing up to be you know, a stereotype, you know, of people from the inner city where they, they think you won't graduate from high school, you're in a gang, you know, or like you have no type of intelligence about yourself. We all know that that's a lot. But yet the news and when they cover things, they only cover um, small portions of what they want to cover. Again, there's a lot of people that go around that may be cleaning up the streets, but then there's also probably more people that's dirtying up the streets and throwing up the throwing trash. And people that some drugs that may do certain type of drugs that consist of banging rigs in their veins or etc. As many as you got people that's trying to clean up, it's more coming dirtying up. But at least show both sides. If you're gonna show, you know, violence and all this within the community then show the people that's trying to come together and stop all this stuff. You know, do something about it. Don't just talk about, oh, this bad happened and they're fighting and they're all crazy and this person being taken out. All of this stuff is on, on cameras too. You know, it's footage everywhere of these people being executed. You know, I will go into names, but again, I'm going to leave that for another video. See, I could have been talking about rappers and entertainers and, and and saying people may have been, I guess, sacrificed or it's designed that way because it's the truth. Just like those people on the record labels, they even said that the labels uh, tell them that they should be talking about uh, deleting and taking people out and doing all these drugs and fornicating with women all the time because they say that's what sells. But the truth is music is a powerful element. One of the most powerful element. And then they got the stuff called drill music where everybody jumping around and they talking about they're going to do this and shoot this and punch this and sell this and take this and F this. You know, and we're being programmed, predictive programming. You know, and have your mind thinking that you should get all the latest things you got. $1,500, $1,600 shoes. You got these guys that don't have that much, 
that's really out here maybe doing illegal things or maybe working all kind of jobs to buy these kind of things what is that teaching a generation to spend their money on material things how can you have any generational wealth when you're not when you're not spending your money in the right way see what i learned in a so-called black community especially is anywhere but especially in the so-called black communities where People may come from less and the struggle and all of this, and they want to look good. So they want to get Jordan tennis shoes. They want to get Gucci belts. They, I don't even know what's all these all these designer names because I don't get none of this stuff. But my, I have a brother that's older than me, my older brother. And he, rock, he rocks all this expensive stuff. And yeah, he works hard. He got a decent, you know, he do his thing. But, you know, he can afford it. But at the same time, even if I could afford it, I wouldn't buy it in a rate that he does. Because sometimes I feel like he does it just like everybody else does it. Say, hey, look at me. I got a $500 belt. You know? And that's what they show, too. On the news or the, or the videos and this and that. And it's teaching the youth to grow up to be very materialistic. Instead of teaching them to invest their money in the right way. Open up businesses. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with getting some Walmart boots. Or pay less if it still exists in people areas. You know, you don't there's millionaires and probably billionaires that probably still go to Walmart to probably get certain clothes and and I've seen it and heard about it. Like they don't care. When you when you are already successful, you know, as long as you look okay, decent, presentable, it really doesn't matter where you get the clothes or the shoes or something from. But it's an agenda that's pushed, especially with the rappers and the music, because it's one of the biggest elements that's unfortunately ran by Satan himself, itself. And I can't lie, even myself, you know, because I came up on music from blues to rhythm to rock and roll, um, jazz, of course, hip hop and rap, R&B pop music, you know, but of course I'm, I come from the hard knock area where the, the, you know, the street guys, you know, I used to be of that, you know, so it's still in me too, but I know better. I've never been the type that really cared that much about material things. I can go get a white t-shirt and get some decent jeans and maybe some okay shoes that don't got to cost that much and I'll be okay. Like I said, even if I was to have a bunch of money, I still want to be humble enough to go buy me a white t-shirt from a small business or something that's, you know what I'm saying, that's not so expensive. I'd rather help people. You know, help people make it to the next level with that money if I could, you know, because I know people wouldn't barely giving me a chance. You know, it's always somebody that out here that's willing to give a real one a chance and believe in you know and you even if when you don't believe in yourself but it's predictive programming because every time you turn around all they do is talk about the same thing shootings um having sex with a bunch of women and drinking and popping this pill and doing this and doing that and it's so repetitive where the music itself is an entity gets in your in your body gets in your mind that's how you get these songs that get stuck in your head you don't even want these songs i not spoke on this before you don't even want these songs to be in your head but you didn't heard them so much they didn't play it over in the radio that should tell you something right there how you can get programmed how something could be in your head that you don't even want in your head how many times we didn't listen to music that we don't necessarily like but it gets stuck in the head. The other day, it was some rock song that I heard. That I know a very well uh, rock song. Older rock song. Um, I'm not a big fan of that particular song. But I've I've heard it uh, quite a few times. And now it got stuck in my head. So you got to be careful. And just like with the video games. Predictive programming. If you playing Call of Duty. This and that and all that. I'm not saying that. The game itself is going to make a person go out to want to do like San Andreas 
and all of this stuff. But you got to understand, it's all in the subliminal. As you're playing this game, and you shoot, and everyone that played play, play, uh, Call of Duty and whatever all these games, I'm not a big gamer, so I don't know. But I'm just assuming the ones that spe, spe, excuse me, play, especially more of like the shooting type of games, I'm sure there were some type of individuals that got influenced by that type of music that actually went out and did something crazy. The point is, it's predictive programming. From the music to the video games to the uh, TV screen, the movies, the news. Because the majority of the stuff is pushing negativity. War, you know. And they're keeping people in this warlike energy and you wonder why all this stuff is going on to this day. Why in this time that it seems so high with violence and people being taken out left and right, little children being slaughtered, you know? I barely even hear an R&B song anymore, the new school stuff. I barely hear any blues or the music that really hits your soul. All I hear is this drill, this and that, and everybody talking about doing this and pointing stuff and doing all this. For what? Because it's nothing but a war against yourself. It's a war on you. And you are raging war against yourself. And this predicting program Because if they keep putting it in the music. And they put it in the movies. And they put it in the video games. That's where a lot of people's mind is going to be at. You wonder why. This world is so violent. Especially in America all over. People are being programmed. Without even realizing that they are being programmed. It tells you that you're being programmed when they tell you to sit down and watch television and watch your favorite program. They're not calling it a program for nothing. Just like the project buildings, the people that come from the inner city. They don't be calling this stuff for nothing. They're just telling you right in your face, this is a project. Let's take a bunch of uh, oppressed people that's angry and have a right to be that had everything stolen and took them from. Let's put them in little small areas and big buildings and have them all together and put the drugs and put the, you know, in the neighbor, you know, but you all know what's going on. And they say, if you knew better, you'll do better. Unfortunately, some of us and a lot of us know better and still sometimes we don't do better. See, you got to want to change. If you're going, to, going with the program, then it may be a little easier for you. In a certain aspect. But when you're going. And not saying that you're trying to. But when you stand for something that goes against. These um, disagreeable beings. Um, agendas. Then yeah they'll come for you. You know they'll try to cast spells etc. But always understand. Don't get programmed by this program. You know and understand that. Be careful what you watch. Be careful what you keep listening to. I know I should do that myself. Because I'm a real big, you know, artist myself in certain ways. I came from the battle stages and all that. And I must say, I do still like certain drill music and stuff. But I do believe that you can use those kind of things to your own advantage. If you know what you're doing. Just like when people have war dances and war songs and all this stuff. You know, people got that. And you can use it for your advantage. But if you're using it. To go against your own self. Then there's nothing but self-destruction. From the predictive programming. Just like in the cartoons. They didn't show you on the TikTok videos and stuff. How they got the subliminal things. All in the Disney characters. Where they got people. Private errors showing. And evil words spelt in the things. Because it gets in your subliminal. And it programmed you. Without you realize you even being programmed. But I'm going to end the video. More to come. You know. Support the channel. You know. Link is in description. Share. Turn on your post notification. And um, yeah. We going up. It's tripping.